And thank you. For about six weeks now, NASA has been tracking a small asteroid called 2024 YR4. It has a very low chance of actually hitting the Earth on December 22nd, 2032. Meteorologist Derek Witt joins us now with more information. That newly discovered 2024 YR4 actually making impact on our planet is only 2.3% and that will most likely go down as further observations get a better fix on its trajectory. We discovered this on December 27th of 2024. So it was very recent mm -hmm. um, and it was found by a telescope in Chile mm -hmm. um, that is specifically designed to look for things near the Earth. A 2.3% chance of impact might sound very small, and it is, but it's the second highest probability of any asteroid since NASA started tracking near-Earth objects back in the 90s. The, the difficulty is that when you, when you find something in the sky that's moving, you have to work out from where it sits on the sky what its actual orbit in the solar system is. And that, although we understand the physics of how bodies move through that, our measurements of the positions are not precise. They have uncertainties with them. To better understand this new asteroid, 2024 YR4, we look to the Torino scale. It was invented to categorize the threat posed by asteroids by combining the probability of impact with the amount of damage it could cause. The scale goes from 0 to 10, with a 0 or 1 being nothing to worry about, but anything higher warrants monitoring. This one has reached a Torino number of three, okay. um, which is in the sort of general category of, hey, astronomers, pay attention to this. Mm -hmm. It's not in the, we have to get worried, we have to get Bruce Willis on his spacecraft to go up. It's, we just need more information. Back in 2004, an asteroid called Apophis topped out at four on the Torino scale before it was ruled out as a threat and dropped to zero. Then, a different asteroid in 2006 briefly rose to a two before falling back to zero. This new asteroid is only the third one since the creation of the Torino scale in the 90s to attain a rating higher than one. The James Webb Space Telescope has been tasked to look at it to try to help understand how big it is. One of the biggest uncertainties is how big it is. Right. Um, it could be anywhere from 100 feet in diameter to 300 feet, and that's a big difference when it comes to you know how potentially damaging it could be. For comparison, the asteroid that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs was much larger, at six to nine miles in diameter. This new one is similar in size to the Tunguska event, an asteroid that blew up over an unpopulated part of Russia in 1908. So in the worst case scenario, regional damage is possible, but it most likely will not happen. The probability is 2% that it could hit in 2032. And that sounds scary, like, oh, 2%. But you have to flip that around, and that means 98% probability that it is not going to hit, right? So that's the number you really want to think about. If by chance this asteroid does make impact, it would most likely do so somewhere along the equator. However, I really want to emphasize that future observations of 2024 YRFAR will most likely reduce the probability of impact and eventually rule it out as a threat altogether. Christian, Sashim, back to you.